the next center that we are going to look at is the ortho center of a triangle right ortho center is the point of intersection of the altitudes of the triangle now what is an altitude altitude is a perpendicular drawn from a vertex of a triangle to the opposite side let us understand this with the help of a simple uh, illustration here let's consider abc as a triangle abc is a triangle here now as i have mentioned earlier ortho center is the point of intersection of the three altitudes and what is an altitude altitude is a perpendicular drawn from the vertex of the triangle to the opposite side right so there will be three altitudes in a triangle and all these three altitudes meet at a common point which is called ortho center now what is a perpendicular perpendicular we know that is the one which makes an angle of 90 degrees with the given side so from point a from the vertex a if we draw a line such that it makes an angle of 90 degrees with the side bc that will become the altitude of the triangle right so let's say we drop a perpendicular here right such that the angle made here is 90 degrees now this perpendicular ad is the altitude likewise from the vertex b if you drop a line such that it makes an angle of 90 degrees with the opposite side that is ac then it becomes the second altitude so let's say if you draw a line here such that the angle made by this line is 90 degrees with the opposite side that's the second altitude let's consider that as be and the third altitude will be the one which is the line between c and uh, the point where it meets bd such ba where it makes an angle of 90 degrees so if we draw a line such that the angle here is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees let's say cf cf is a third altitude so these uh, all these three altitudes if you see meet at a common point right and that point is known as ortho center which is generally denoted by the letter h right ortho center is denoted by the letter h here so in simple words ortho center is the point of intersection of the three altitudes an altitude is a line which is drawn from the vertex of a triangle to the opposite side so that it makes an angle of 90 degrees with the opposite side or in simple words altitude is a perpendicular which is drawn from the vertex to the opposite side so from the vertex to the opposite side perpendicular making an angle of 90 degrees from the second vertex to the opposite side making an angle of 90 degrees and third vertex to the opposite side making an angle of 90 degrees so that's about ortho center of a triangle now based on the type of triangle the position of ortho center may change for example in an acute angle triangle the ortho center will be inside the triangle but in case of an obtuse angle triangle the ortho center lies outside the triangle Whereas in a right angle triangle, the ortho center is at the vertex which has got the right angle. So this is something different uh, in ortho center when it, when it is compared with median. Median as you know always lies within the triangle, inside the triangle. But ortho center may lie inside, outside or on the triangle based on the type of triangle there. So if the triangle is an acute angle triangle, uh, you know acute angled triangle then the ortho center uh, h lies inside the triangle right for uh, obtuse angle triangle if that is one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees then the ortho center h lies outside the triangle and for a right angle triangle right right angle triangle the ortho center h lies at the vertex which has right angle at the vertex of the right angle there right so if you consider apc as a right angle triangle which has got uh, the right angle at the vertex b then the ortho center is the vertex b here so that's about uh, the position of ortho center based on the type of uh, triangle there now one important conclusion uh, that can be drawn with respect to the ortho center of a triangle is that the angle made by any side with the ortho center and the opposite angle are always supplementary let us understand this with the help of uh, the illustration that we have taken here for example if you see the angle bhc right the bc is the side now the angle made by the side bc with the ortho center let's say this is uh, theta right angle made by the side bc with the ortho center h okay and the opposite angle what's the opposite angle or the vertical angle is angle a now this angle bhc and angle a are supplementary what does it mean by supplementary angles they add up to 180 degrees right so we can say that angle bhc plus angle a is equal to 180 degrees so the point here is the angle made by any side of the triangle with the ortho center and the vertical angle or the opposite angle are 
supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. Likewise, if you look at the side AC, the side AC makes some angle with also center, right? It can be taken as angle AHC or angle CHA. So that angle AHC plus the other angle, angle B will be equal to 180 degrees. And similarly for the third side there, angle uh, ABH A or AHB, right? Angle AHB plus angle C are also supplementary. So that's an important point which we need to remember. You need not, uh, you know, remember these equations by heart. The point to be noted is angle made by a side with the author center and the vertical angle are supplementary. So uh, the question may be given as follows. It may say that in a triangle ABC, the angle uh, A is equal to 60 degrees. Then what is the angle BHC? or what is the angle made by the side BC with the ortho center. Now if this is 60 degrees, we know that this would be 120 degrees because 60 plus 120 will give us 180 degrees. So without doing any calculation, without solving the question, if you simply remember this point, you can mark the answer as 120 degrees. If A is 60, then angle BHC will be 120 degrees. So that's about the ortho center and its properties.